Ali Matu, an inmate of the Gambaga witch's camp, sought refuge in this camp after her daughter accused her of witchcraft, putting her life in danger. My last one, she bring me here, and she said that I cut her. I, I, I said that, ah, you blind. And look when your father died, and you are P6. And look at everything, and you go to secondary school. I'm Chaco and everything. I'm saying I'm giving your things, and you will finish there. When the book, everything, I. And I, I want to cut you to do what? And you said that, ah, I. You. 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 But I'm going go to the. Uh, Bush and came out and come and sit, sit, uh, sit down. And Amiru uh, come and said that, ne, go, ne, him, and I uh, hear. That, ne, that my children said that I cut her. Ali Matu is among the more than 90 women seeking shelter at six designated homes known as witches' camps in northern Ghana. These women, mostly in their menopausal stages, face accusations of witchcraft based on the pronouncements of soothsayers and some prophets. This exposes them to public ridicule and inhumane treatments. Although there is no specific data on the number of women lynched due to witchcraft accusations, at least four cases of lynching have been reported between 2020 and 2023. Among them was the mother of 90-year-old Equia Dente, a few years ago in Kafaba, which sparked nationwide outrage. On May 7, a man and a woman were lynched in Zakpalsi, a community in the Mion district of the northern region, on suspicions of practicing witchcraft following the death of a woman. The perpetrators of these crimes are still at large. In response, the Ministry of Gender and Children Protection conducted a working visit to the northeast and northern regions where the minister condemned the incident and assured the public that the police would apprehend the culprits. We promise that uh, the law will take its own course, whether the case has been reported or not. That's why the police command is here. So definitely, uh, there will definitely be some arrests so that uh, we will prosecute those who actually caused this heinous crime. Currently, an anti-witchcraft bill is under consideration in the Parliament of Ghana, aiming to criminalize witchcraft accusations and related offenses once it becomes law. The Ministry of Gender plans to establish a toll-free helpline for individuals to report any threats to their lives stemming from witchcraft accusations. Very soon, the law will pass, and then uh, I have instituted a department that we call Restoration Department, just for this alleged witchcrafting, where there's a toll-free number, 800-800. 0900900. So these are the numbers. Immediately it starts. You can call those numbers and we can call police to come and intervene and then they try to save your life so that uh, we will refer the case to the appropriate quarters. I think uh, very soon uh, the lines will be very active and then uh, we will involve, we will train some policemen in most of the community where actually these things are happening so that uh, they will be the point of call, the security. However, the women residing in these camps assert that they feel safer there than in the communities that ostracized them in the first place. But when I didn't see my house, I won't go home. But I will, when I go home just now, I go and enter some place. They will say that I will come to cut their children. <laughs> uh, but when I see my house, I will go home. But when I didn't see my house, I won't go home. You send the person home and she has no place to sleep. You see, sometimes they will even, the children might even accept, but they will tell you that we don't have a place for the woman unless you come to help them build. Sometimes they will tell you that, yes, our mother had been in Gambaga for, let's say, 50 years. She has no room again. We want to accept our mother, but we don't have the means. In the Western world, the elderly are provided with shelters equipped with basic amenities. Shouldn't Ghana consider transforming these camps into shelters for the elderly? The ministry is actually looking at it. In Gambaga, there is a place we are looking to develop as an age home. So it's, uh, it, it will be done. 
and then we would like to do it across all the regions. So where uh, there's a point that somebody don't have anybody to take care of him or her, so you can uh, seek shelter there. So it Social protection is a fundamental right, especially for older people who have contributed to the nation's development. Unfortunately, this group seems to be excluded. Although the Sustainable Development Goals aim to address multidimensional inequalities, older people are not explicitly targeted. Nevertheless, this issue cuts across multiple SDGs, necessitating the government's design and implementation of specific social protection programs for the elderly in society to achieve the 2030 Agenda. So long as the belief of witchcraft exists, women, especially older women in rural communities, will continue to face maltreatment from community members in their old age. There's the need for government and relevant stakeholders to take in measures to ensure that these women are protected. From the Northern region, Daina Ungwan, for City News.